page 30. Look at the drawing on page 29. When the car ahead passes a post or marker of any kind, count 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. When you get to 1003 or 1004, your car should not have passed the post or marker that you started counting from. If you already passed the post or marker, you are too close. Increase your following distance to even more than 3 or 4 seconds. 1. Road conditions are bad. Following a motorcycle or bicycle. Following drivers who can't see behind because their view is blocked. You have a heavy load or are pulling a trailer. Someone is following you too closely. You are following an emergency vehicle. Coming up to railroad crossings. Stopping on a hill or incline. Being followed. You need to watch behind your car too. If someone is following too closely, it is called tailgating. It is dangerous to have someone tailgate you. If you need to stop quickly, they can run into you. If you slow down a little, it will help make them want to pass you. Check your rear view mirror often for traffic behind you. You can see if someone is following too closely. Check your mirrors every 6 to 8 seconds. You should let cars behind you know if there is danger ahead. You can do this by quickly tapping your brake pedal 3 or 4 times. Page 31. Blind Spots. Please refer to the drawing at the top of page 31. The blind spot is the area beside you or near the rear corners of your car. You can't see these spots in the mirrors. You need to turn your head and look over your shoulder to see if a car is there. Look over your shoulder in the direction you want to go. For example, if you want to move over to the left, look over your left shoulder. No zone. Please refer to the drawing on page 31. Big trucks have trouble seeing you if you get too close. They can't see cars too close behind them or in front of them. They have trouble seeing cars alongside them too. These areas are called the no zone. Stay out of the no zone. Stay at least 200 feet behind big trucks. And don't stay in the area alongside a truck. They can't see you there. If you pass a big truck, Wait until you can see both of its headlights in your rearview mirror before you pull back in. Big trucks can't see things closer than 20 feet in front of them. This area is part of the no zone too. Curves Slow down before you enter a curve. This will help you keep control of your car while you make the curve. Page 32 Funeral Processions Drivers in a funeral procession or line should turn on their headlights. Only the first car in the line must obey traffic signs or signals. Other traffic should stop and let the funeral procession go. Be careful though. You need to be ready to slow or stop if other drivers don't follow this rule. Emergency Vehicles When you hear a siren or see flashing red lights, pull over to the side of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. If you are in an intersection, finish going through it before you pull over and stop. When you see a snow plow, with its red or amber lights on, slow down. The snow it throws will make it hard for you to see. Give the plow as much room as you can. Stay at least 200 feet behind it. Don't try to pass it, because you may not see a car coming toward you. Buses You must stop if you approach a school bus that has stopped and has its red signal lights on and stop arm out. It is loading or unloading children. You may not go until the flashing red signal lights on the bus go off. You may not make a right turn in front of a school bus or a city bus that is stopped at an intersection to load or unload people. Page 33. Please refer to the drawings on page 33. Drawing A, two lane road. Drawing A shows who must stop on a two-lane road. Both cars must stop at least 20 feet behind or in front of the school bus. Drawing B divided highway without median strip. Drawing B shows a divided street or highway without a median strip. If you meet a school bus that has stopped on the other side of a divided highway without a median strip, you need to stop. Drawing C divided highway with median strip. Drawing C shows a divided street or highway with a median strip. 
If you meet a school bus that has stopped on the other side of a divided highway with a median strip, you do not need to stop. Page 34. Parking Rules. When you park on level surface, put your car in park. If your car has a stick shift, put it in gear. Set the parking brake. Most parking lots and some streets require what is called angle parking. Lines will be painted on the pavement to show you the space for each car. Where parking is allowed, you may park next to the curb on the same side of the street you are driving on. This is called parallel parking. In parallel parking, your front and back wheels should be within one foot of the curb or the side of the street. Your front and back bumpers should be no closer than two feet from the car in front or in back of you. Steps in parallel parking. Watch for other traffic, pedestrians, and fixed objects during each step. Please refer to the drawings on page 34 for each step. Step 1. Put your turn signal on. Stop even with the car ahead of the spot where you want to park. You should be about two feet away from it. Step 2. Turn the wheel sharply to the right and slowly back toward the car behind the spot where you want to park. Step 3. When clear of the car ahead, turn the wheel sharply to the left. Back slowly to the car behind. Step 4. Turn wheel sharp right. Pull toward the curb in the center of the parking space. Page 35. Hill Parking. Please refer to the drawings on page 35. 1. When you park downhill, turn your front wheels into the curb. 2. When you park uphill, turn your front wheels away from the curb. 3. When you park uphill and there is no curb, turn your front wheels toward the side of the road. Do not park in an intersection. In a construction area, if your vehicle will block traffic within 15 feet of a crosswalk or intersection, within 10 feet of a fire hydrant, within 25 feet of railroad crossing, more than one foot from the curb, within 15 feet of the driveway entrance to a fire station, or right across the street from a driveway entrance to a fire station, within four feet of a driveway, alley, or private road, by the area of the curb, removed or lowered for access to a sidewalk, in front of a school from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on school days, or as posted, at entrances to public buildings during certain hours, that are posted on signs, on a bridge or overpass, in a tunnel or underpass, on the wrong side of the street, in any areas reserved for disabled persons unless you have a special parking permit or license plates for the disabled, on the roadside of a parked vehicle, double parking, on railroad tracks, wherever a sign says you cannot park. Page 36. Speed and Speed Limits. If you go faster than the posted speed limit, you could get a ticket. You must not drive faster than 15 miles per hour when you pass a school and children are outside. 15 miles per hour when you pass a sign marked school crossing and children or a crossing guard is there. 25 miles per hour when you drive on a street in the city limits and in areas where people live. 35 miles per hour when you drive outside the city but near the city. 55 miles per hour when you drive in the country on state or federal roads. 65 miles per hour on marked rural interstate highways. Where there are signs with other posted speed limits, obey the posted speed limit. You should never drive faster than the speed limit. Don't drive too much slower than the posted speed limit though. If you do, traffic can bunch up behind you. This is called impeding traffic. Driving too slow on a busy highway can be just as dangerous as driving too fast. It can make a crash more likely to happen. If you need to drive slower than the speed limit, stay in the far right lane. Watch traffic conditions around you. If traffic gets bunched up behind you, speed up or pull off the road so it can go around you. On a divided road, try not to block lanes by driving beside other traffic. If someone stays beside you, speed up or slow down, so traffic behind can get by.